I love decorating our house with family pictures, but to find a creative way to hang a multiple of eight by 10 pictures in a group, but I was at a loss. So watch today's video and I will show you what I figured out. For this project, I have a group of nine eight by 10 frames that I wanted to hang so that it tells the story. These are pictures of our three kids on their first birthday. And so I wanted to be able to hang them in a creative way. So we're going to use uh, some chain, a curtain rod and some S hooks and make a really cool eight by 10 collage. So for this project, I'm gonna give you the uh, supplies you need to do the exact same number of frames. So for nine frames, which would be three rows and, um, and three columns, you're gonna need to have three heavy duty S hooks. Then you're going to have to have nine lightweight S hooks some chain, uh, which I my package I believe had nine feet in it, which was more than enough. And then you're going to have to have some picture hangers. You're gonna to have to have two picture hangers for each frame. So for a total of 18 picture hangers. And for all of these, I wanted to have a dark look. So I'm uh, gonna go ahead and spray paint those. Okay, I want the S hooks to be all the same color. I want them like a dark, this is a dark walnut color. So I am just going to spray paint the S hooks, let them dry, and then we can start assembling. Okay, I'm just gonna let this side dry and then I'll turn them over and paint the other side. First thing you need to do is to prepare your chain. For our area on the wall, 14 lengths uh, between the, the top of one frame and the bottom of the other frame, it's gonna go like this, is a good length for that. So you count 14 chains, and then just take needle nose pliers and separate them out into that length. And so here I have 14 chains, um, and you do that one for each of your pictures. So prepare 14 chains for that. And then we're going to take the picture hangers, and these have been coated with uh, spray paint, and we're going to open it out just a little bit on each end. And we have uh, found that the square top worked really good to go on the frame. So put one end of it underneath the edge of the frame right here, and bring the other one to the top might need to use pliers to get it up there. There we go. And once it's up there, pinch it together a little bit. Now take the end of the chain that you have open and we're going to pinch it just a little around the top of that. There, just gonna close it up a little bit and I'll put this back on. And it is really loose right now, but I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. So you take your other one, you do the same thing. I'm gonna open up the end, put it on the frames. And these frames I got on Amazon, and I'll have the link down below, absolutely a fantastic price. I think it comes down to about $3.75 per frame, and uh, they're really uh, nice and solid. So I'm gonna hook that one in there, close it up just a little bit. And so we need these to be on the outermost edge of the frame. So I am just going to take simple hot glue and I am coating around each area with glue. And this isn't gonna have pressure on it, it's just gonna keep it from sliding. And let that dry. And so you do that process for all of your frames. So the big picture of what's gonna happen is these are the small S hooks that are, are a lighter gauge. And so we are going to S hook the chain of the, from the top of one to the bottom of the frame above it. So with the S hook, this one happens to have a small portion and a large portion. Um, so do the small on the chain 
and then the large will go right onto the frame. We're not going to do this till it gets on the wall, but I just kind of wanted to show you the big picture of what's going to happen. Okay, as I said, I was going to enlist Ross. So what you need now is a decorative curtain rod. And so Ross is going to hang that for us, but you're going to definitely need to use anchors for this uh, because you're going to have some weight on it with frames. So we marked 12 inches in from each end and hoping that that's going to uh, make it nice and solid uh, so that it doesn't bow in the middle. Okay, next step, moment of truth. We are going to make, just to give you a big idea of uh, where this is going, the first row is Ross and I on our first birth, uh, yeah, our first birthday and our engagement picture. So we need the big S hooks at this point and we're going to hang it right onto the curtain rod. Okay, so I have the next two S hooks, and so now I need Ross as a little baby, and then my one-year picture. Okay, as I showed you earlier, we need to have, these are the baby S hooks that we're going to use. The big hook is going to go on the back of the frame, and we're going to hook the other one to it. So now we need to have our firstborn's one-year picture here, and just hook that. Oh, it's working. Okay, so now we need our second child. Okay, and then the last row for our ensemble is our family picture on that same first birthday. So you're just going to take your chain and baby S hook and you hook it to the back of the row on top. Yeah, as I see this, I am anticipating because this, the small S hook might have some give to it that I am going to reach behind and put a piece of Gorilla Tape on the back of each of those just for some stability. I don't think I want to do hot glue, um, but it don't need it doesn't need that. But a little bit of tape would work good. Okay, there it is all done. I went ahead and went behind and put a piece of Gorilla Tape on each one of them. But it's a really, really economical way to make a pretty cool 8x10 collage. So just a little uh, chains, some frame uh, hooks, some baby S hooks and some big S hooks and then a uh, curtain rod. All of those you can get at your hardware store or Walmart. The frames, like I said, I ordered those off of Amazon. I have the link down below, very impressed with these frames. So if you have any other ideas of how you can hang um, an eight by 10 collage, I would love to learn because I said I love decorating with pictures. But as always, thank you for watching DIY on the house.